good morning or good afternoon depending on where you're at in the world this is brandy aka pixelated twix and welcome back to my channel i forgot to do a thing yesterday and i want to apologize first of all to princess hawthorne uh, aka princess underscore haw on the gallery she submitted a, a build and apparently the footage did not make it into the video i posted yesterday with the housing tours and so I feel extremely bad, charge it to my head and not my heart. I will, um, and well, so what I'm doing today is recording um, a special video for her um, house. So um, yeah, let's get started. I don't want to delay this any longer. I know that I did look at the house and I, in my mind, I had already recorded this because I remember making a comment how she used brick as accent um, with the the Adobe um, stucco walls and how I loved it and that she used the tile awning over the archways and I thought these this was gorgeous um, I thought it looked amazing so <laughs> I don't know what happened, um, but anyways, we're going to go into the house. I'm going to bring the walls up. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to go through the door here. So we're going to check out the living space first. Um, she's got this cute little area over here for reading. Every house needs a, uh, every house needs a bookcase. Ooh, okay. She's got a mirror here. Okay, this is proper right here because I say that because when you walk out of a house, especially if you're getting ready to go out, you gotta have a full size mirror to check yourself out to make sure that you look good before you go where you're about to go. So I really like the touch here. What is this? Okay, that doll looks, that doll looks creepy. Yeah, guys, I have this thing about dolls. <laughs> creepy dolls. My sister had this doll that, oh my gosh, my mom had bought it from a garage sale and it had hardly any hair um it like patches of hair and it was this huge doll I, I i kid you not guys i thought this doll looked like chucky and she used to take it with us to church every sunday she was like two she used to carry this doll around and everybody in church used to talk about how creepy this doll was so i have this thing especially since well as chucky is like um was a thing uh, well, he's not really scary now, but he used to be scary to me. So yeah, dolls like freak me out. Like Annabelle, uh, uh, nope, can I do? All right, so that was that was just unnecessary information, but I just thought I'd share it. Anyway, so let's get back to her build because that's what we're here for, right? Okay. Um, I really like how the the mirrors with the the fireplace. Actually, I learned that mirrors in a smaller space make your space look larger and this isn't a small home but it's a great accent and it does feel like the space is larger than it really is even though like I said the space isn't exactly small I like how she put this fountain in the middle it's such a, a really cool feature I've um I've got to use those at some point the, these came with uh, the jungle pack, didn't they? Again, I don't know what the name of that pack is, um, but I've never used it. I use some of the furnishing and things like that, but I've never actually gone on the jungle adventure. I might have to try that because I uh, I used to like the the um, world adventures with The Sims 3 until it started glitching out and I would get stuck in France or something um, and never and wouldn't be able to come back home. Oh, that. I love Sims 3, but it was so glitchy. Um, I've lost many a pet in Sims 3. Um, okay, so back to the kitchen. Again, ADD tangent, you guys. Gotta love me. Um, I love the neutral um, tones in here. The, the browns, the tans, the cream um, colors, and how she put the stove in the center of the aisle because to me that's like the focal point of the kitchen um i could see a a sim cooking here and being able to still talk to their family or anybody they're entertaining because they can they can still focus and cook and um you know see uh who's in the house or what have you if that makes any sense i love these doors something else i have not used nope all right so we're gonna head upstairs um, into the bathroom 
and I love the shower. This is a really cute swatch, actually. The pink, oh, it's so pretty. And I, yeah, now that I look at it, I'm like, I know I went through this house before, and I was talking about how the bathroom felt very, um, I want to feel, I want to say this house gives me almost, um, an ancient, um, I don't want to say Mayan feel, but like, I would think back in, back long years ago, <laughs> that bathrooms were very simple and, you know, still like, um, an, an oasis because, you know, bathrooms now, they're so, they're so cluttered and things like that, but this is very simple. This is what a bathroom's for. You go in, you take a hot shower, you take a bath, you know, bubble bath or what have you, and you use the, the restroom and you're out. But it still, it still has a, a nice vibe. I still like it. I love it. And I think she was telling me, she was like, I'm so sorry for it, to, you know, sorry that it was very simple. I'm like, no, don't be sorry. I like it. I like the simplicity. I like clutter, but I also like simplicity because I can appreciate both. Uh, we're going to go here to the left and look at the bedroom really quickly. This looks like this would be for a masculine sim because um, of the cologne and things like that. But, you know, if you're like me, I love the smell of men's cologne. Uh, I used to wear my dad's cologne sometimes, so I don't know why. But it, it just smells good. Kind of weird, maybe. Uh, I like the use of the the basket with the tissue there and the old the old um, photos. See, I guess that maybe was what she was going with was an older home. Um, and it's kind of like this might have been like a, a family a family home that's been well, a family home that's been in the home of family for uh, many years. Good Lord, girl. All right, so let's go through this door to the main bedroom. Very quaint and cozy. I like the dressing... Oh, is this a desk? Yeah, this is a desk. Is she? Oh, that's cool. So she's using the desk as a small dressing table with a. Okay, I like that idea. We got dresser, perfume, a little mirror. One of my favorite mirrors. I like to um, with this mirror right here. I like to um, stagger them a little bit. Um, I like to make. Can I shrink these up? I don't think I can shrink these, but I try to like stagger these and so I have like, you know, more than one of these mirrors here because I think they're so cool. I wish you could shrink mirrors and make mirrors larger in the game. Or can you? I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna go through here and this is the main bathroom. Um oh I like the mirror behind here. That is cool. That is really cool. I love that. Okay, let's take a look. Another one of my favorite items. Oh, look. She put a... I like this feature. With the window looking on... Um, looking out into... It's almost like... Yeah, this, honestly, I love the feel of this house. This definitely feels like an old house. And I just really yelled into the mic, sorry. But this definitely feels like this is an old house nothing's really changed um, the family has kept it the same and that's what makes it um, so unique and I really enjoy this build a lot I think you did an amazing job so please don't think that this was just a simple build or you know I I love it I really do um, this was like just enough um, let's go out to the backyard so the backyard is has our pool it looks like the family does enjoy some time um, outside. We've got a picnic table and a barbecue. You always gotta have a barbecue, I'm telling you. That is a, that is a must have. Um, I think it looks amazing. This, honestly, you would probably see this, um, you would definitely see this in, I would say Texas. Florida maybe I don't know too much about Florida myself but I like it I think it looks really good I love how you've got uh, this little area with um, the radio and the seating here so they probably sit out um, and relax 
at night, listen to some music. I dig it. That's right up my alley. I think you did an amazing job. I love how you use the, fo um, the foliage and plants up here um, and through the middle. It looks really good. You did an amazing job. Thank you, Princess Ha. I'm so glad that you let me know that I missed your build. I really apologize. Um, again, I, it was totally by mistake, but I hope this makes up for it. And thank you guys for stopping by. If you're not subscribed yet, why are you still waiting? Hit that button and the notification bell so you know when I upload next time. And until then, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.